Hello and welcome to another training video by First in Theatre looking at ETC EOS and today we're going to be looking at getting started. This is going to look at saving, opening and merging show files and also the setup options within the menu and then following up we're going to look at how to exit. So what we're going to do is we're going to open ETC EOS by finding your application and clicking open. I've got it saved here on my dock and I'm going to give it a little click. So the ETC shell has opened and what this does is it gives us all manner of options whether we want to run this software offline, whether we want to run it as a backup to another console, whether we want it to mirror a currently running console or whether we just want to program on the fly at home. It also gives you really in-depth setting options that may require the software to be restarted. So for the purpose of today's training video we're going to hit offline with Viz. When we click offline with Viz it gives you a visualizer output only message. What this is saying is because you don't have an ETC Nomad dongle, you can't use any live lighting fixtures. So once we've clicked OK, it's going to load the software. We're going to look at the browser menu in the bottom right hand side in this orange box. This gives you all of your file save options, your opening options, it includes a setup menu and then it also is your way out of ETC Nomad. So what we're going to do is we're first going to look at saving. So clicking file you can see that it gives a save as option. And this is where you get to choose where you're saving your next show file. So for the purpose of this video I'm going to save it into the show file archive. And then we're going to scroll down and it's going to give us an option for a new folder. So we're going to double click that and we're going to give this folder a name. For the purpose of this video I'm going to call it getting started. Great, so you can see that the folder has now been saved so we're going to double click onto the folder name which will give us an option to save the file. Just hit OK and then label your file. Once again going for getting started we're going to hit enter and it's going to give you a success message to let you know that's all worked fine. Aside from the save as function there is also just a general save function. This can be activated by hitting shift and update or if you're on a normal keyboard it's shift and U. What it does do is it creates a backup system. So clicking on this arrow here creates a drop down menu including the file that we just saved via save as and the file that we've just saved via clicking the save option. Really handy if you feel that you've made a mistake and you just want to step back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at opening the file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the open option. As you can see there is a red box around open and a green box around save. These are really handy little indicators to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Instead of overwriting a file that you've currently been working on by opening a new file or accidentally saving over an old file when you're supposed to be opening. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to open. We're going to open this up and then we're going to hit show file archive. Go down to getting started and as you can see it doesn't immediately give you the drop down option for the backup files so just double click the file you want to open. This gives a whole range of choices as to which parts of the show file you want to open. They are really easy to select and deselect just by clicking on each of the names and as you can see the box is grey out. But for the purpose of this training video and for a lot of the things you're going to do whilst you're just getting your hands on ETC EOS, leave them all selected and then hit OK. There is another option and another function that ETC EOS has for you. So we're going to close the open menu and click on merge. So what Merge does is it allows you to open aspects of the show files without overwriting the file you're currently working on. So let's give you an example. By opening the first in theatre test file, I'm going to pull out the colour palettes, which are ways of storing colour information for light, into this training file that we're making today. So we're going to double click on the first in theatre test file. Similar to the open option, it gives you all of the same choices to make, but they're all greyed out this time. So like I said I'm going to choose colour palettes for today so we're going to go over to colour palettes, select that, watch it go yellow and then we're going to hit OK. So what that's just done is brought all of the colour palettes into this show file for use here. Now that we've made an alteration to this show file since we've last saved, a little asterisk has appeared next to the show file name. This is just a really subtle reminder that EETC have put in to let you know that you've not saved since you've made updates. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift and U, saving show, success green message and then we're going to move on. So that's merge. Merge gives you a whole load of functions whether you want to bring across queue lists or patches. You can add all of these things into your show file without losing everything else. 
So next up is the setup option. So we're going to double click on setup and this brings up our getting started settings options. As you can see at the bottom of the screen there are three different types of settings menus. You've got system options, user options and device options. Your systems options look at things such as default queue timings and queue triggering such as MIDI and OSC. Going over to user options, that covers things such as manual timings, button levels and highlight presets. Moving on to device, these settings are much more focused around if you're using an EOS family console, things such as backlight levels and displays. I know that was a really basic look at the settings options, but I'm sure we will come back to them over the coming videos. And the final thing I'm going to cover in this video is how to save and exit. So we're going to hit shift update as we have done previously, and then we're going to move down to the exit button. Double clicking, it will give us an option to confirm, and then by pressing OK, it will leave the show file. Hopefully that gives you a really quick look at getting started in ETC EOS and in the next video I'm going to be looking at how to set up your screens and windows. Once again thank you very much, leave any of your feedback in the comments below and we hope to see you soon.